Hello and welcome to Culture Shock here on Fullerton College Television. My name is Julian Babad and today I'm going to be talking about music with my guest Derek Koslowski. Am I saying that right? Can yeah, you? perfect. Okay, thank you. Uh, wh what is that? Is that is this, um, sounds vaguely Slavic. Polish. Polish. Polish, yeah. Oh, wow. I was, I was almost close. <laughs> nice. So, Derek, you were telling me before the camera started rolling that you are um, a, a musician. You yeah. played the drums. I do. And do you study music here at Fullerton College? Yes. Nice. Exclusively at, at Fullerton College. Exclusively <laughs> at Fullerton College. <laughs> Fantastic. So, can you tell us a little bit about w what it's like to be a drummer? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Um, I'm in a in a music group, I guess you know it's an important role. You keep yeah. time. Um, in like the social aspect, you're the one that's carrying the most equipment <laughs> from place to place. Yeah. And like it's you, pretty the one with the biggest car. Yeah, it's pretty thankless. It's like, hey, mm. can you just show up here and then like bring this extra stuff? It's like, oh, okay, great. Well, <laughs> there's a, you oh know, no. like I'll break my back doing that. Like, oh no, it's awesome. Like this thing's only up three flights of stairs. Oh yeah, um, effortless. So those, those are the th those are the things that I think about of like, what is it like to be a drummer? Yeah, like, okay. You know, and then all of the <laughs> awesome jokes about like the drummer is the guy that hangs out with the musicians. <laughs> you know, so like that's fun too. Ooh. Yeah, we reserve those jokes in our household for the bass lyrics. Yeah. But, um, do, do you find yourself in uh, high supply when it comes to playing with different bands and such? Uh, I do. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of bands do you play with right now? Uh, I have a Latin orchestra that I play with. <laughs> oh, nice. Which is, I mean, it's like a cumbia band, but <laughs> we call it a Latin orchestra. I play in the percussion ensemble here at Fullerton College. Uh, I play in a rock cover band, a pop cover band. Wow. Yeah, about four or five right now. That's quite a bit of experience. You you're you're getting your you're getting your money's worth in terms of drumming, it sounds like. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So you know Derek actually has a demonstration he wants to share with drumming. We're gonna you, you <laughs> said to start I'm just <laughs> I'm just putting you on the spot there. So Derek, what kind of music do you listen to um it, uh, just on the off time on the on your off time? Okay, so the music I listen to has to do with like the mood that I'm in, and a lot of time that I listen to music, I'm driving in traffic, okay, because mm. I work in Los Angeles, so it's traffic both ways every day of the week. Saturdays is the worst. Yeah. Sunday's pretty bad too. Okay. So I just can't listen to anything. So I have this um, satellite station I listen to called uh, Willie's Roadhouse, and it's all like country music from like the 50s and 60s. Oh, nice. Because it's like <laughs> Hank Williams and Merle Haggard and just like, you know, happy music that tells a story. Nice. It's like not frustrating. Nice. But then on Friday nights, I host a happy hour at my house with my friends. We break out all of our old records and so that would be like jazz music, we listen to big band, um, and like Latin stuff. Yeah, nice. That's a quite a full plate of genres. Well, we're going to hear more from Derek when we come back from the break. So, stay tuned. Welcome back to Culture Shock. I'm your host, Julian Babad, and I'm here once again with Derek Koslowski. And Derek was telling us about his um, escapades and drumming and his favorite genre of music. So just to get a little bit more specific for you, because you're a drummer and, and you, know, you were telling me earlier about uh, being a musician and you're learning you know, recording technology and stuff. So how are you challenging yourself right now in terms of being a musician? Uh, I'm trying to, like, learn stuff out of my genre. Uh, I'm not really a mallet 
player or okay. or orchestral type type of player, but I'm taking lessons to get that under my belt, just be more versatile because my ultimate goal is to be in education. Mm. And I just think that if you're going to be an educator, you should be well versed in like many genres. Yeah. Should the situation arise, you know, to that someone want uh, has questions about like, okay, well, what's this guy doing or what's this a uh, woman doing on the marimba, you know, you should be able to answer that question instead of just say like, oh no, I'm just teaching you rock, rock music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. So increased diversity, maybe increased skill set. Right. I love that. So you just mentioned, you kind of s- spoiled it for uh, the audience, but <laughs> you, you want to be a music educator, you've, so you've said. Oh, I do. Yeah, okay, so w- what level um, do you want to be teaching music? Like junior high or lower, like, um, you know, younger kids that are just starting out, getting interested. Yeah, I like seeing younger kids progress and learn really anything. When um, Derek and I were talking about um, uh, r- music production, you mentioned it being a labor of love. That's something that you don't necessarily mm-hmm. always have the patience for. But I, I, I would say you know teaching is the same thing. It's it's that that much more level of intensity. What draws you to that? That's I I would consider that very noble. And I think I would want to hear just why you would want to do that. So. So uh, being a musician and being a teacher are two different things. You know, sometimes you can combine them. So I like teaching. Yeah. And I'm actually a substitute teacher as well right now. So um, I like teaching anything and seeing people grow, teaching adults, teaching children. That's one thing separate from being a musician. I'm also a musician. So if I combine the two, I think for me that would just be, uh, that would just be great. There are a lot of musicians out here um, that are good, r- really good musicians, and to make ends meet, to make money, they decide like, well, I've got to give lessons, I've got to teach, but their heart's not really in it, mm. and really, they're not all that great of a teacher. Yeah. Just because you're good, a, you're a good musician, doesn't mean that you're a really good teacher. Right. Distinction. It's its, yeah. it's, its own science, its own study, I think. Yeah. And so that's what draws me to the education uh, side of it, because I'd like to teach really anything. Yeah. Nice. So, speaking of what uh, drawing you to to being in education, let's let's take take a step back. What drew you to the to the drums? Like, um, can you name some of your, you know, your most influential drummers? Oh boy, um, I like Carter Beaufort a lot. He's a drummer mm. for Dave Matthews Band. Okay. Uh, I appreciate him because he was actually a history professor. Oh wow. And he left that career to go on tour with the Dave Matthews Band, and now here they sell out like stadiums and whatnot. Nice. So, I like that he had options. He wasn't just a drummer; he didn't just do this one thing. You know, he was a teacher. Nice. Um, any anyone like uh, Buddy Rich or? Uh oh, I definitely appreciate those guys. Like Buddy Rich, I've never seen him live, of course, but I've seen yeah. like, tons of videos. And you know, when I see some of those players. Other people are encouraged by them. I'm a bit discouraged <laughs> because I just think like, well, he's a phenom. Like <laughs> his path is not my path. Right. Yeah. It's, it's not going to be that way. Of course. But I do know some drummers that, um, you know, picked up drumming. Like uh, a gentleman who he just died in February, named um, I think his name's Anduju Chancellor. He was the drummer for Michael Jackson on like oh, Billie okay. Jean. So he just died in February, but I appreciate him because he didn't start playing till he's about 13 years old. Wow. Yeah. And now you will carry on the legacy of drumming and pass it on to whoever you teach. Yeah, <laughs> and let's see. On the musicality. Great. Well, this has been a great talk with Derek Kozlowski. I'm your host, Julian Babad. Thank you for joining me on Culture Shock. <laughs>